This week, celebrities got attacked. Like, literally, celebrities all over the world were attacked, and it was all filmed. I will never understand. I don't understand. What's the trend? I just can't believe it all happened in one week. In one week. Exactly. So first you had Justin Bieber almost getting his face punched at a nightclub mm -hmm. in Germany. Oh, I didn't see you this didn't? one. Oh. Where have you been, girl? The video is really oh, disturbing. Like, really? Oh, this random fan who was trying to get his attention, the guy in the plaid shirt, uh, had been trying to get attention um, all the night long. Night, yeah. Look and then he close finally he realizes he's super close to Justin Bieber, and then he goes in for a swing. And luckily, John Shahidi, who is Justin Bieber's business partner, was able to throw the guy to the floor oh and then God. the hot what? brunette. Right? The oh. hot brunette behind him. <laughs> Here's, quickly swifts him away. Here's my thing about Justin, though, is he's so public about being rude to his fans, essentially, and then he goes and parties with the masses. Like, you saw him just walking among a huge crowd. When you're that famous of a yeah. pop star, I don't even if you have a bodyguard with you, I don't know if you should be part, like, I think you should be up by yourself in a booth I mean, or I've something. I mean, I've thought that about Justin Bieber always, because he's even rude? when he was, well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and also that he always complains about, like, people are mean to me, mm -hmm. but he is always causing so many problems that if he would just stay home, like... Well, he can't always stay house, home. Yeah. But, like, honestly, do you think he should be going to clubs? No, like, absolutely no, not. I don't think he should never be... Justifying violence to... Oh, no, 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 I was gonna say, I don't think anyone should be hitting him, but I feel like he gets himself into a lot of situations but that he this tends is a perfect... to provoke. How did he provoke anything in this situation? And what we're saying that we he's only are mean to fans, one video also. I would be mean, too, if every time I thought someone was a fan trying to get my attention, every so often they were actually trying to be violent toward like, me. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go to a club. I agree with Ryland. Go to a, go to the club if you want. Yeah. Just get the VIP seats. Like, you right. got the money to do it. That's part of the reason that I mean. And you don't need the like, money. They're going to offer that to you for just a He wasn't in the VIP Well, that's seat. what I'm saying, though. It's like even in the show. VIP section of clubs, I mean, I, we could all go to a VIP section of a club. Right. We obviously wouldn't be hitting Justin Bieber, but like, I don't know. I think anywhere <laughs> he goes, he needs to have bodyguards I around him. I think there's a bigger conversation that we should be having, and that is, do we have the right? What made us feel entitled to touch and assault other celebrities. He was not the only victim this week. Mm -hmm. Both Kim Kardashian and Gigi Hadid, just yeah. days apart, got attacked by, what's his name, Vidal Sassoon, Vitali Vitali. Vitali Sassoon. I am mispronouncing his name. Can I also I, say he's very fashionable also, we don't, and I appreciate his <laughs> style choices. And it's okay if we mess wow. up his name because we don't need to give him more no, attention exactly. than he's already getting. Exactly. Um, but your fashion's great, Vitali. But first up, uh, well, this one's the Kim Kardashian, but the Gigi right. Hadid one actually happened first. The Gigi Hadid happened first. She's at Fashion Week somewhere mm. and uh, he just runs up behind her, grabs her, lifts Picks her. her she can't even move her arms and finally her like kickboxing classes, you know, come in and she kicks him or whatever, elbows, elbows him, him in the face. face yeah. And then she is accused of not behaving properly. Like no, they said, head the headline said not model behavior. Yeah, there was a bunch of them. There was one that I saw that someone was tweeting about. I think Gigi had retweeted mm -hmm. because of a fan that was also like a reporter who's verified was calling out these news outlets because they had not changed it once, but multiple times after people started complaining about Ooh. it, all of them were accusing her of being out of control. In defense um, of in the outlet, that's going to get them more clicks and we're guilty of doing things such as that as well. I don't think that we would say not model behavior. We wouldn't, say, no. we, wouldn't we would be like, Gigi Hadid attacked. Right. We wouldn't say Gigi elbows and aunt, like a rowdy fan. Wait, like, but first do we all, understand the pattern here that we keep blaming the celebrity for doing nothing other than trying to defend themselves? Right. That, uh, we're not blaming the celebrity. I think well, that's absolutely ridiculous. The masses are. Yeah. Like oh, in no, all I think of these it's cases. the media in this case. Well, I think Twitter media. all took... Gigi's side yeah. of this. Yeah. yeah, and I hate that she had to come out and like make a tweet about it to defend herself. Girl, you did not have to defend yourself. I like that. You were being attacked. We have photo proof <laughs> and video proof of it. You do you. Yeah. Do. My yeah. concern here, and same for even the Justin Bieber, where are their security teams? Why are these people that right. have millions and millions of followers out just like, no one should have been able to run up behind her and right. pick her up. Well, she did have a security team there. And they took 
him down very fast. But and that happened they in all got cases. To her. They obviously yeah. aren't paying enough attention. Well, like, you're in a public space exactly. with like hundreds of people, and there's no way for a security team to know ahead it's of time. It's not flawless. Imagine how many accidents they've actually stopped from happening. Right, and you're not right. expecting it. Nobody's expecting right. anybody to attack just a right. human right. walking But they should be. That's literally their job. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, can we talk about this dude, Vitaly, Videl, whatever. Videl, Wait, was whatever. that the same guy that did the same Gigi? Same guy yes. that did yeah. Gigi, yeah. then did Kim I thought the Gigi one later. was a random person. No, no, that was the prankster that had tried to kiss Will Smith in the exactly. past. He's done all of these crazy things, but the Kim Kardashian one, he s is saying that he didn't even plan that. He was just outside eating his ice cream using the restaurant's free Wi-Fi when Kim Kardashian happened to pop up at the restaurant, and that's when he was like, oh, I had to come up with something very quick no, on the I'm top of I'm unclear how any of that backstory right. justifies trying well, to literally what kiss it is, her ass. Is he's considering himself an artist. This is part of his art. I mean, who, this is like, he's doing this for views, he's doing it for humor, he's trying to make a statement that celebrities are not gods, that they're approachable, and that he can do whatever he wants. For Kim Kardashian, he was saying that he wants to not popularize fake body parts. Uh, and he wants the Kardashians. Great. To, that's the message I clearly yeah, got. Yeah, right. I was going to say, any explanation that he could give would not justify that. No. That is not art. Attacking someone is not art. I agree. <laughs> but, I'm sh but he's sick and twisted. He's got great fashion, but he's not... <laughs> how how has he right. been able to do this and still get it, like what? get around these events and have, like, why hasn't he been arrested? He's in right? the Illuminati. Just say so here's the thing, you can do whatever art you want to do, but your art is not allowed to impose on my no. physical space. And especially when you are a woman and you always have this fear of men wanting to attack you, like Kim K's ass, we'd all love to kiss it. Right. But if she hasn't consented to your mouth on her ass, it's not allowed. And what gives yeah. him the right to think that he right. is allowed? Like, yeah. I get that it's a cute idea in theory, but you're not allowed to actually manifest it. Also, people, sorry, Aaron, yeah. but people are not praising him in the right way. Yes, he's get att getting attention, but why do you think he's getting off to this? Because people aren't being like, oh, Vitaly, I love him. They hate well, him. I was gonna right. say, no one thinks that this is like, oh, I'm so glad that guy did. Everyone's like, oh my God, that crazy guy. And he's unemployable, he's essentially. Right. He's an adrenaline junkie. He right. likes the the excitement how, of it. Just, it reminds me of like pervs that like will pull out their junk and like get, on Snapchat. That. How like, is this also going to pay his bills? Because now nobody wants to hire this man. How is he making a living? And well, he's, why isn't he in jail? If I pulled this right. kind of crap, you guys know, I would be right. like locked up knowing <laughs> right. my luck. I would not get away with any of this. Like, how does he continue to be a normal person Well, because I feel the like they could charge him with multiple things. Like, he's always trespassing. Mm. He's always assaulting someone. Right. Yeah. And who knows what else he's doing. Yeah, totally. Ugh. It's and crazy. And he isn't the only person who's doing this. Sometimes it's fans, like right. in the case of Ali Brooke Hernandez from Fifth Harmony, twice in one week. I saw her <laughs> tweeting about this, but I didn't know what actually happened. Wasn't yeah. it almost twice in, an, in a in day? Like two, in a day and a half, In yeah. a day and a half? Oh my gosh, just because she's the tiniest member of Fifth Harmony does not mean that you are allowed to take the girl down. You can't pick up she's tiny people. So yes. here's the first one at the airport, right, Miriam? Yeah, so she's at the airport and a fan just lunges at her. Uh, so she you know, continues running away. And then the second time, she goes to Mexico, Fifth Harmony, they're doing a concert. Mm -hmm. They're on stage. A fan somehow finagles their way onto the stage and she, he grabs onto her and basically throws her to the floor on stage. Guys, why are they choosing her? Out because of she's both. tiny. Because you can take her down. <laughs> You're really like, wow, easily. I can put her in my pocket. Like, exactly. I mean, all of them are pretty small, yeah, but I don't think true. we should be attacking any of them. <laughs> like, I, I think there is this this cultural perception that celebrities are your not friends. real people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, that because they li live these public lives, that you are allowed to interact with them physically. And I think it's really wrong, and it's only getting worse. Yeah. So what I'm confused about is, especially with stage things, like I feel right. like the guy trying to get attention by grabbing Kim and whatever. That I don't understand because it's weird, but like I get that he's sick and has a problem. Mm -hmm. People that go on stage that are fans, like, what do you? What's your goal? What What are you gonna right. end up doing? Like, is that you get up there, touch them, and then what? Everybody wants to be internet famous. It's right. like people Everyone. that like run down right. on baseball fields. Yeah, they're right. like, oh, this is my moment, my one chance to be talked about. Right. And that's our that's our culture. But you got a few things. Also, the adrenaline rush, and also you actually got to touch your favorite celebrity. But yeah. if that's your favorite celebrity and you love them, ambushing the stage will only get you kicked out of the concert. Right. So I don't see how that's a it's win. It's worth it for. Them. 
Uh, th- I mean, okay, so that one I don't get. The one at the airport I understand a little more, although I don't completely like get it. Because right. if I saw my favorite celebrity in the flesh, I was telling you yesterday on DHR that you get ex- like these people had been waiting for her at the airport for hours and hours, and then once she they all see her, there's so much excitement and adrenaline that they all just want to love her, but right. I think it went a step too far, and he probably just got, he or she got too excited. Yeah, in Ali's case, and both of the fans, I don't know if you watched that clip completely, but they had kind of like crazy smiles. <laughs> yeah. So they were very happy to be there. They were, I don't think they were going to hurt anyone. They no. just wanted to hug her, you That's know? like, it's like the scary at concerts when crowds get so crazy right. and they'll like push over the barricade Oof, or something. Right. It's like just a group of people all that excited doesn't end well. Moral of the story, Keep your hands to yourself. And Seriously. And right. celebrity, make sure your security guard it's is watching out. Yeah. you guys. <laughs> um, all right, you guys. Well, let us know what you think in the comment section below about all of these celebrities being attacked in the matter of only a week. Uh, you can also hit us up on the social media, and then you can click right over here to see if you should tell your partner if they're getting fat. Oh, such a hard <laughs> question. Or to the right to find out what's up with the Mandela effect.